All right, folks. Just want to take a few minutes to talk about uh, some lithium-ion rechargeable batteries. These are 18650s um, in a couple of different configurations from a couple of different manufacturers. And uh, when you talk about an 18650, part of the designation is, is that it's 18 millimeters across and 65 millimeters tall. And when you start to do things like put integrated circuit protection on an 18650, it becomes a little bit bigger. So this one's a little bit longer than this battery. You can see that. And it becomes a little bit wider because it, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has a connector that runs from the bottom of the battery to the top of the battery. So they get a little bit bigger. They're really more like a 1967, something like that. But anyhow, I wanted to talk about these for a couple of different reasons. Um, I've done videos in the past about various 18650s and, and how I use them. And the way that I use them is in flashlights. Uh, I get a lot of questions about like uh, this Phoenix PD30, this uh, Olight uh, Maverick, and this, uh, this Olight M22. But I get a lot of questions from folks that are using them in vapes because these work in vape sticks or vape pens. And I'm not an expert when, uh, when vaping, so I really can't answer a lot of those questions. But uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about them because I get a lot of questions around, well, what's a good battery to buy from a flashlight or what should I be looking for? Or, or you know, you said these are dangerous or how do I recharge them or what's a good charger? Um, I use an XTAR charger to recharge my batteries. It's right here. Sorry, I don't know if that's going to come in or not. I'm using a new camera, guys, and it's not working out. Uh, anyhow, this is a VP, VP1, and it allows me to charge two batteries independently. But um, I really just wanted to talk a little bit about batteries and, and some of the things that I say about them when I talk to folks. These first three batteries right here are batteries that I've harvested out of old laptops, old laptop batteries. And they have different colors and and uh, different wrappers on them. And when you take a look at these batteries, a lot of times they'll have a serial number. I don't know if that's going to come through or not. And you can look them up and they'll tell you a little bit about how many um, MAH they have. And typically it hovers around 2,000 MAH. And uh, most of these batteries, if not all of them, are made by Panasonic and then bought. And then the different companies will put wrappers around them and, and put their own integrated circuit protection. Um, early on, when I was using a lot of 18650s, I used exclusively these laptop batteries. And uh, I still use them from time to time, but I kind of have uh, turned away from that. And the reason is, is that they don't have integrated circuit protection. And I've learned a lot about these batteries, and um, I've actually seen it happen myself. So these batteries, um, if they short out, they, they do uh, something called venting. And it's when the battery gets really hot and it's discharging uh, energy at a, at a rapid rate. And they can get up to somewhere around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty damn hot. Um, and that can happen while the batteries are touching other batteries. It could happen while maybe they're in a bag touching keys or touching some other pieces of metal. It can happen while they're charging um, or, or discharging actually in a charger. So when you're using the battery like this and you want to charge them, you want to make sure you're charging them with a charger that has uh, circuit protection in it. A lot of times when you buy batteries, and I've bought batteries before, like these Ultrafires, that have come with a charger that didn't have circuit protection inside of it. And so you want to make sure that you don't overcharge a battery because it can cause venting. Hopefully I'm making sense, and if anybody has uh, any more information or expertise, please comment below, and then we can uh, have a rational dialogue about it. Um, but I stopped using these batteries in most cases, uh, especially in a flashlight that I didn't know if it had integrated circuit protection. For example, this, uh, this flashlight. I didn't know if it had integrated circuit protection, so I don't use a non-protected battery in, in that environment. Because I could accidentally leave this flashlight on, this flashlight could turn on in my pocket or in a bag, and then uh, it could cause a vending scenario. The other thing is you want to steer clear of cheap batteries. If you take a look at these two batteries, um, they are actually different different heights. 
Uh, both of them claim to be an ultra fire, uh, 3000 milliamp hour battery. If you take a look at them, one of them has just the, the battery and the negative end, and the other one has circuit protection. So one of them is actually a counterfeit battery. Uh, and even the one with circuit protection may be a counterfeit battery as well. This is a non-protected battery. You can see it doesn't have the circuit on the bottom, and it is truly an 18650. So anyhow, people ask me what the best battery is to buy. And uh, I think that for years, people would always say Eagle Tech. Eagle Tech is the best battery. Um, Eagle Tacks are pretty expensive. This is a, uh, I believe it's a 3400 milliamp per hour which is on the high side of what a battery can produce these days. Um, this is a protected night core. It's 2300 uh, milliamps per hour. So you can pick up a battery, 2300 milliamps per hour, which is great, uh, for somewhere around 15 bucks. I'll say on Amazon, you get these things for about 15 bucks shipped. Um, these Ultra Fires, you can get these for probably about $12 for, for a two or four pack. And they claim to be 35, I'm sorry, 3000 milliamps per hour. And that's just not true. When, uh, the testing I've done with these, they, they tend to be about a third of, uh, the capacity of something like this, which is a 2300. So I would estimate these to be about 700 milliamps per hour. This Eagle tech is, like I said, 3400. This is about a $25 battery. And then uh, these O-lights, um, this one's actually mislabeled, it says 3.6 volts. These are actually about 3.7. When you charge them, you can get up to 4.1, 3,400 milliamps per hour. This is about a $20 battery. And then you can actually get these O-lights a little bit cheaper at, at let's say you're getting a 2,400. It's probably about 15 bucks a, a battery. And uh, that's what I would recommend to folks. One of the other things I want to talk about, this is this is a flat top battery, and then these have a, a button top placed on top of them. Anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick video talking a little bit about batteries, making a recommendation. Um, I'm not an expert, so anything that you do, you should, you should cross-reference or research. But uh, like I said, I have been getting a lot of questions about what batteries folks should be buying. Um, I'm talking specifically about flashlights, not about vapes, but these Olight batteries seem to be great. They test out well, they, uh, they charge fast, and then they, they hold their current very well. So anyhow, that's it. I just want to do a quick video. Thanks, everybody.